the F1 reinstatement was denied. We filed the motion to reopen, it was successful, and then the request for evidence came and then it was denied. We filed the second motion to reopen, successful again, the request for evidence was issued, and then we succeeded and the kid was back in school after three years. This is the craziest story. I'm happy to share this with you now. Hi everyone, my name is Joseph. I'm the managing partner here at Zion Associates where we solve legal problems with creative solutions. So the legal problem was this international student on an F1 visa was here in the US. The visa already expired, so they couldn't go back home to their home country and get a new visa to come back into the US. What makes things a little bit more complicated was that their status expired in 2020 and they didn't file the reinstatement until March of 20. 21. They went to a school, the school hired an attorney, they filed it, and then in 2022, let me see when, in uh, June of 2022, almost after a whole year of reviewing the reinstatement, USCIS issues a request for evidence. And then the student was like, I, I can't do this, went to the attorney, the attorney says, I can't do it. And so they've been searching, found us, and we prepared the first request for evidence answer. And it was like one, two, three, four, four full pages with 12 exhibits because the request for evidence right here they challenged everything all the key issues and they just couldn't do it and so we went in depth prepared everything we filed it and then the case was denied when we got the denial notice uh it was very interesting because it was just about the 901 fee everything else met the sufficient requirements of uscis and the only reason we didn't pay it when we filed it is because the school said we didn't need it because it was previously paid on their end so it's like okay who's telling the truth the school or uscis but it's definitely not the student's fault so we were very sympathetic to the student and said you know what on this issue, we'll file a motion to reopen for you. We'll give you a huge discount. So we prepared another three-page attorney brief, prepared the statements, we filed the motion to reopen. Now, know this, if we didn't file the motion to reopen, if the, the case ended with the denial in August of 2022, they would have overstayed for a year and a half. That means they will have a 10-year bar, they could leave the U.S. and they'll never be able to come back to the U.S. until after all of that time, or unless they get married and file a waiver, etc. So we had to win this motion to reopen in order for the case to be reopened and for us to provide this 901 fee. We argue, we're persuaded, and USCIS says, okay, we'll reopen it for you. Make the payment. And we're like, yes! All we have to do is make a payment and the case will be done. We made the payment. We responded to the request for evidence. We prepared another filing package and we sent it out. And guess what? The payment was accepted, but the school didn't open up the portal. And so we got another denial. Now their explanation, we didn't forget, we couldn't, there was an IT glitch, but whatever the reason, the school's inability to help the student out, the, the DSO messing up, caused this case to be denied again. So I went, we talked to the school, and the school says, you know, what? We'll, we'll try again, but we need the case to be reopened again. <laughs> Very well. So we filed another motion to reopen. So this is our, like, uh, I don't know, this is our fifth filing with USCIS. This time it's a lot longer. We gave all sorts of excuses for the school because the school wouldn't even provide a letter saying they messed up. So we had to explain for the client and for the school, USCIS miraculously opened up the case. The, the, the school was able to do the right thing and open up the portal. And then now USCIS sends this approval approval notice valid in January 2023 to duration of status. This has been like a two and a half year ordeal. The client couldn't sleep for two and a half years, but each time there was a mess up. We went, we cleaned it up, and we helped this kid finally be able to reinstate her status so that now she can finally finish her schooling and then get her OPT and then H1B and eventually move on with her life. This is definitely the craziest reinstatement motion to reopen combo that we've ever done but i'm glad to say that this case had a happy ending um 
If you have any questions about reinstatement, about motion to reopen, or if your visa was denied and you need to get a new F1 visa, there's so many things that we deal with on this on a daily basis. We've represented so many international students. I know how they feel. I was an international student once as well, a long, long time ago, and I can understand the frustration. Thank you, take care, bye-bye.